It was good, YouTube. Today's podcast topic is about money, the rule of all evil, and I'm going to tell you why. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Agree or disagree. Uh, disagree, not disagree. <laughs> but anyhow, the money is a rule of all evil because of the simple fact that Everybody is doing something nowadays for money. Regardless if it's sex, regardless if it's fame, regardless if it's a like or a share. Everything is for money or a number or a value or something. Like, since when the woman's that God made us to love, right? To cherish, to honor. Since when did it come where a woman don't want to give you no play? No such a play at all. No time, no chance to get to know you for you. Since when did my money, my bank account, I said money twice, now money, bank account, same thing. But anyhow, since when did my money or my bank account uh, matter on how a woman would treat me? I never knew that my money or the money I have in my bank account or having a place or a car will consider regardless if a woman would love me or give me a chance to be her man based on that. I never thought that I could buy so much pussy because of the cost of money. I never thought I could see any woman in the world but naked because of the cost of money. You mean to tell me I could go on OnlyFans and I could send a bride $5.99 to subscribe to her OnlyFans for $5.99 and I thank God that that's getting shut down. I hope it really do. But you mean to tell me I could pay a bride $5.99 so I could pull out my wing wing and beat my meat like no tomorrow and I could see any woman Fresno, Sacramento, any woman who got an account inside the world who want to show me some titties, show me some coochie. $5.99, $12.99, $20.99, it don't matter what the price is. It's the simple fact that y'all women's belittle yourself and settle for a price for the value of money, not the value of respect. Not the value of love, not the value of loyalty, not the value of anything but money. So let me tell me that every woman got a price, including my wife, any woman I deal with got a price. And regardless if I do right or not, there's no man who could just live with a woman and live and just be right by her. And there's no man, woman. That's one of the take care of men who just want to live there and not help her out. Everything is going to revolve around money. If there's a woman out there taking care of men, and men ain't helping out no bills, I guarantee that woman would cheat on that man with a man who got some money. Because no woman there just want to just take care of men. No woman just want to be with any man. It didn't got so money that got so much power for so much value. These women used to be scared and used to get mad when people post their news or leak their news. Now it's to the point they got Snapchat premiums. I don't even know what a Snapchat premium is. I know what it is. I don't know why they call it that. But anyhow, where some of these bras that go from ten dollars, I've seen at the most twenty dollars. Some of the ridiculous ones, I've seen all the way up to fifty dollars, maybe even a hundred. Them for the females that think they just that good looking, them. that dang balance pussy that just bomb video that just bomb. And everybody knows Snapchat is only a second. You can't even see a whole video from what I understand on Snapchat nowadays. I don't know if you could or you can't, but. You could get a couple 30 seconds. And it's ridiculous of how many females that I didn't see butt naked on Snapchat. Just by 
seeing the post said, follow me on Snapchat, guys. Follow her on Snapchat. I didn't see her neck. I don't know her from Adam from Eve, but I didn't see inside of her coochie. I didn't see her booty hoe. I didn't see her tongue. I didn't see every nasty thing that all these females could do for themselves to make some money. But then when a man tells them, oh, go sell your coochie for me, he's wrong. Ain't y'all doing the same thing? Y'all sell? Or if a man put you on the corner and said, go sell your coochie for me, he's wrong. But some of y'all females is putting yourself on the corner. Some of y'all females ain't even say y'all did the shit for your kids and ain't even doing it for your kids. You just doing it for a dollar. Moral of the story is, that's how I know the world is going to the end. There's more people in the world who's shaking it and playing with it all for a dollar. It could be a couple twenties. It could be a couple hundreds. Might give you a couple thousands, but ladies, listen here. It ain't going to bring you love. It ain't going to bring you support. Now, I'm a man. I might. A part of me wouldn't mind being with a nasty bra like a prostitute. I'm not talking about who got AIDS or HIV. Because some people would think like, oh, he'll just want to be with a nasty bra who got AIDS or HIV. My whole point of me having to fantasize of being with the nasty prostitute and being a pimp, I wouldn't want to really be a pimp. But I just want to be with that girl who's, I think every man wants to be with somebody that's nasty. Everybody wouldn't mind having a woman who's going to slob on their ding lane regardless if their dick is 10 inches, regardless if their dick is no smaller than five. Anybody else is smaller than that, and I don't know. But I don't know no woman on earth. The older I got, I understand sex more. So I don't know no woman on earth who really just want a 10-inch or 11-inch dick. I think that's just all porn talk, all internet talk. I think when it comes down to it, I think women like head just as well as we like head. I think a woman wants to be loved just as well as we want to be loved. And I think a woman want to be hoed just like we want to be hoed sometimes. But I think what people mess it up is like nowadays there's women who you ain't consider of a man if you don't know how to fix a car tire. You're not consider of a man if you can't do handy work around the house. You're not consider of a man if you don't got your own house or your own money. Since when did money make you a man? Last time I checked, what makes you a man? What makes you a man to me is being able to provide with or without a job. Some people can hustle. Some people got business. It, didn't, it shouldn't matter if he sell drugs. It shouldn't matter if he hustle. Selling clothes. It don't matter if he selling fruit. It don't matter. At the end of the day, provide me to me. I don't care if that man used your money and made investments and made drug choices with it. Whatever he did, as long as he ain't get caught, as long as he ain't in jail, hurting nobody, killing nobody, it shouldn't matter how that man is being provided for y'all. If he's taking your money and he's flipping it and he's making enough money to pay a bill, I don't care if it's just a phone bill and a PG and E bill. I don't care if he just pay one bill. He's still being a provider. I don't care if he just paid the cable bill and gave you $100 every month and gave you $50 worth of food. He's still a man that you choose to be with. And I feel like when it comes down to getting to know somebody in the world, loyalty and faithfulness and all that, I feel like a real good woman wouldn't judge a man because he don't have a job or get an SSI check. No matter how he could provide and put something on the bill and put clothes on your backs and clothes on your kids' backs, I feel like the money should have nothing to do with the way he treats you. Shouldn't have nothing to do with, with the way he eat your coochie or have sex with you. And I also don't think that the size of his penis should matter to you when there's a lot of y'all ladies 
who's having sex with a woman who's giving you 10% of the finger and 90% of a sex toy. I think some of y'all just take life over work, like life and sex over when. And the reason why I say that, if two women could be together, and they got the same part. Two men could be together and they got the same part. But that's what they prefer. Two men prefer fucking each other in the ass and sucking each other in the dick. That's cool, calm and down. Then you got the people who like selfish. They want a man and a woman. You got them women, and that's why I don't consider it as a bad thing because it has something in my teeth. Some people are more freakier than others. Some people get turned on. Some women get turned on by a man dingling. Some women get turned on by looking at a woman body. Here it is. She liked what the man got between his legs. She liked a woman body. Very person being with that man. And then some people use they've been hurt or they've been touched or they've been molested as the reason why they don't like men or they've seen their they mom get beat. So people use that as an excuse and still somewhat they got certain kind of men they hate, they got certain kind of men they love. But my whole moral of the story is this. When it comes down to Facebook, TikTok, any social site, if somebody's doing something for a value of money, like for like, share for share, view for view, you know what that means? I'm all about numbers. It's like for like. Everybody wants to see 100 likes if they throw up a picture, right? Everybody wants to see 100 comments if they throw up a picture or, or a video. Everybody on YouTube wants to be famous. Everybody on TikTok wants to be famous. Damn near everybody on Facebook wants to be famous. And it all value about if this person could do it, I could do it. If this person could do it, I could do it. So everybody in competition with each other. And it's all about popularity, money, and fame. You don't have people talking about love. You don't hear people talking about, oh, I want to get to know this man because he look good. And the last time a woman came up to me and said, I want to get to know this man because I look good. When was the last time a woman wanted to love me or my wife wanted to love me because I look good or she liked the way I look or she liked the way I smell or she liked the way I cook or she just liked who I was as a person. When was the last time one of y'all liked somebody because they cook good or they look good or they like that they got a good heart or they like that they outspoken or they like that it was so honest and so real about what they say about what they do you know i for once would like for somebody to love me for me like me for me don't like me because i can fix a tire don't like me because i can do handiwork around the house don't like me because I got a big dick. Don't like me because I'm good at eating pussy. You can like those things about me, but don't be with me because of those things. Some people being with people for sex, and some people being with people because of money. And them the two rule of all evil in the world right now, and popularity. Some people right now laying up with each other. There's a man right now laying up with a woman because she got money. There's a woman right now laying up with a man because he got money. And there's a woman who's chasing every man who got money. And there's a man who's chasing every woman who got money. You think that's fair? You think that's fair to them or to your own self? Should you like somebody because of what they got or what they have? Or should you like them for them? When is the people in the world going to understand that regardless who you be with, regardless how much their money you can get, we could die, but that money can't. We could die, but that person that you was with had money might outlive you.
when we're going to realize that God just want us to just live our life, eat right, sleep right, pee right, poop right, and live our life. When we're going to realize that that's just all that God wants us to do is follow his Ten Commandments, live right, and treat each other equally. You think God wants us to kill one another? You think God wants us to be one around, chicken our head off. It's man's out here can't get nobody to lay with them because you too busy wanting to open up a leg for a dollar. Some of y'all females will sleep with a crackhead if he had enough money. Some of y'all females would sleep with Flavor Flag. Look at all the females that slept with Flavor Flag because he was rich. Some of y'all females dream about sleeping with a celebrity. Way before you sleep with the man around the corner who got SSI check or security job or any type of job. Some of y'all women is picking at the wrong value. Like I said, I believe some of y'all would sleep with a crackhead. If a crackhead came up to you and said, hey, honey, I got $100. Let me hit that thing. Y'all probably put on a corona mask, put a condom on it, and probably won't even put a condom on it and let them bang you out. It's ridiculous how many females I didn't see naked $5. But can't get one female to send me a picture or a new for free. And it's sad to say how many females I done slept with for a value of money. $20, $40, And it's sad to say how many females I done been with who won't give me a second chance. It's sad to say how many times I've been through the ups and downs. And there's females out there selling their stuff every day on OnlyFans, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok. It's sad to say majority of the females I look like look at on TikTok with rather the white, black, Mexican. They shaking their booty. They selling sex. And these females are more freely showing off their body than ever. And it's sad to say, the man that they want is even six feet tall, buff, got a nice body, and just by the chance he got 10 to 8 to 9 inches bigger than you. Think that's doing your coochie some good? If a man coming in with a 10 inch long dick, he ain't doing nothing, ladies, but busting your pussy. Busting your pussy so wide to where when a man who have an average dick get in there, can't feel nothing. When that man who wants to love you for you, can't feel nothing. You think a man wants to be with a woman that been bust open? So wide, disrespected, so they coochie on OnlyFans and Snapchat? Yeah, some of us might be okay with it. Like, I'll be okay with it. But when it comes down to it, you become immune to the money. Immune to the sex. We become people who worship the money, people who worship the sex. To where we become demons to the sex demons, followers to the money demons. You know how easy it is to get addicted to making money for sex? Once when you realize all you have to do, as good as I can lick a girl down, all I gotta do is lick a girl down and I can get her to say I love you. Lick a girl down and I can get her to pay me. Lick her the girl down, I can get her to feed me. It's crazy. How you would think all you have to do is be good to somebody, be nice to somebody, you can get them. It's crazy. It's crazy how y'all made that Kurt, Kurt, the crate shit. You know the crate. I didn't mean to say Kurt. I didn't mean to say, I meant to say crate. It's crazy how y'all made that crate shit go viral. Says when a motherfucker can get on a goddamn crate, stack it all up, and just see if you fall and don't fall. That go by. But anytime somebody that's talking about something real, 
somebody that's trying to make a dream come true. Y'all don't support that. A lot of people might not see this video. The people who do see this video probably won't even share or comment. But I just pray to God y'all share and comment. And share love to my page. Subscribers that I still got. I hope y'all leave a comment too. I love y'all all in the song. Tomorrow topic, I might talk about relationships. But I just want to let y'all know why this money is the rule of all evil. Got females on the corner. Ten toes down selling pussy. Got females on OnlyFans selling pussy. Snapchat, TikTok. All over the social site. All selling pussy for money. And if they ain't selling pussy for money, they're doing it for free. For a view or a like. And you got all these people. Everybody that got a popular page. Every famous person that's rich. Either got a nice body. Good looks. Good hair. And every person. Every woman. Who get a hold of any kind of money. Wants to fix her booty if she ain't got no booty. She wants to fix her titty if she ain't got no titties. And she want to try to do whatever she can to make her pussy the best pussy on her. Man ain't out there trying to get no new dick, bigger size. Man ain't out there trying to put makeup on their face. Make men ain't trying to make themselves taller. A bunch of us trying to lose weight and get some muscle. Just so we can get somebody to look at us. All I want is somebody to love me for me. Like me for me. Don't like me because of my size and my dick, my height. Don't like me for what I could do and what I can't do. Like me because I got a good heart. Love me because I love you. Love me because I got a good heart. Forgive me because I forgave you. Give me a second, a third, a fourth, or fifth chance. You marry me till death do us apart. Keep that. And at the end of the day, when I die or you die, I can't take that with you. Think about that. When you die or I die, we can't take each other with you. So think about the person you love. Think about the person you forgive. We all can move on with somebody else different. We all can have kids by somebody else different. But once when we die, what matter to us the most? What matter to me the most is the happy days and the good days. Bad days somewhat matter. They only matter to a certain extent because there is a blessing or a lesson. I love y'all. Let's put an end to views. Let's put an end to likes. Let's put an end to greed of money. Go back to loving each other for who each other are. Let's put an end to all the wrong. And start doing right for one another. Forgiving one another. Without forgiveness, how can you ever be happy? Without forgiveness, how are you ever gonna live, or love, or move on? You holding on a grudge on somebody. You doing it all the wrong reasons. You mad because somebody hurt you, killed you, or hurt your loved one? Forgive them. Because God got a better place for you. God got a better, bigger blessings for you. When you hold grudge and try to do God work for God, let God punish them. It's not your job to punish them. And ladies, start loving this man back. Man, stop loving these ladies back. I believe we can do right, God. Amen. Peace. Over and out.